be a fly on the wall in the Oval Office. Now you can be. The Secret Service agents that surround our president now revealing what happens behind the scenes. Ron Kessler, in his best-selling book, Now on Paperback, writes this in the President's Secret Service. Uh, that's what that's the name of the book, in the President's Secret Service. Ron, it's, it's an excellent book. You have a new chapter in it, and you included the Salehis crashing the first party the president threw at the White House. Tell us what you included and what you found out about it. Well, that was a direct result of the corner cutting that's been going on in the Secret Service, which even includes not putting people through magnetometers and metal detectors at some events. It's unbelievable. It's just like letting passengers into an airplane without putting them through metal detectors. Uh, and also a, a feeling that uh, management won't back the agents. The agents themselves are very brave and courageous. But, for example, Mary Cheney, Dick Cheney's daughter, would insist that her friends uh, be taken by agents to restaurants, and they refused, as they should have. But she uh, was able to get her detail leader removed over that. So the management, instead right. of backing the guy who's doing his job, uh, uh, removes him. That sent a, sent a message to the White House uh, officers from the Secret Service that, gee, if we turn away the Salahis at this event, uh, and it turns out that they should have been there, we could be in trouble. So that your research showed. All right, bring some color to the White House. George W. Bush, what was special about him and agents, especially when it came to his running? Uh, Bush was very competitive uh, about his running. He always wanted to win. The agents would uh, assign the very best runners to try to keep up with him. Uh, but both he and Laura were very considerate with uh, uh, agents, uh, in contrast to Jimmy Carter, who was known as the uh, phoniest president by the Secret Service. He would pretend to carry his own luggage when the cameras were going, but the luggage was actually empty, right. or else he, he would uh, give the luggage to aides to carry as soon as the cameras were gone. You know, it's interesting, too, Ron. You write that he also told agents, don't say hello to me. Unbelievable. Here's this guy who pretends to be this jolly uh, peanut farmer, this populist, and behind the scenes, he was the nastiest president they've ever seen. Uh, he would also uh, come into the Oval Office sometimes at 5 in the morning and tell the press office to tell the press that he was in there working hard for the American <laughs> people at 5 a.m., and then he would nod off to sleep on the sofa. Well, fantastic. Uh, so he only had one term to do that. Ronald Reagan, uh, affable as he seemed with the agents? Totally genuine, just the way he appeared on TV, uh, would schmooze with them, would watch TV with them, would joke with them, tell them stories. Uh, one time he was getting into the elevator at the residence, and an aide came up and told him about the affair that Gary Hart, who was running for president, was having with Donna Rice, and it was going to be in the paper the next day. And Reagan said, well, boys will be boys, and then he went up in the elevator with his agent, and as he was getting out, he said to the agent, but boys will not be president. Interesting. Lyndon Johnson, when he was VP, you have a story about him. He was running late for a meeting with the president. He was totally out of control. Uh, at, uh, he was late for a meeting with JFK, driving along Pennsylvania Avenue from the Capitol. And uh, it was rush hour. And because they were late, Johnson told the agent who was driving, drive up on the sidewalk, drive up on the sidewalk, get there faster. Well, the sidewalk was full, full of people, pedestrians coming out of office buildings. The agent, of course, refused. Johnson took gotcha. a newspaper and hit him on the head and said, you're fired. Wow. Uh, Ron, this is an excellent book. That's why it was a bestseller. I look forward to reading it on paperback. Ron Kessler, thanks so much. The name of the book is um, In the President's Secret Service. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Brian. Meanwhile, coming up straight ahead, a billionaire paying some of the smartest kids in the country to drop out of school. Why?